Hello everybody. Well, I'm back at it again. So I'm post editing for quite a while. Uh, I was having some leg trouble and then I was having some back trouble and, uh, you know, it's the joy of getting old, I guess. So, <laughs> and now we're having, uh, natural disaster issues. Uh, not right where I'm standing, but in the BC interior, we've been having a lot of bad floods, so it just seems like one thing is leading to another. But anyways, I digress. The main purpose of this video is to uh, demonstrate how I was getting the copper pieces out of this three-phase motor. So just to back up, this was a 15-horsepower uh, three-phase motor that I acquired. So, any, uh, I haven't had too many of these, but any of the ones I've had, these, this part of the winding in here is really tough to get out. This one was, uh, did not disappoint. So anyways, I cut both the ends off flush. And uh, the key there too is to do as neat a job as you can. So that was about six pounds of copper out of that. But these guys here, hold uh, that much more copper in it and again uh, it'll be about 10 pounds I've been kind of weighted as I go so there'll be about 10 pounds of copper come out of there so at first I thought well I'll cut the one off and off and maybe I can pry it out but there's no way this is a really well made motor it's got these uh, sleeves in here it's got these phenolic strips so it's, it's really glued in there. So it's not coming out without a struggle. So I decided I'll make up a little tool. Uh, just very crude. Just did it by eye. Uh, notched it out on my milling machine. Uh, it's just mild steel. So if I had more of these to do, I'd use a better quality metal. Uh, some kind of a tool, steel metal, and then temper it. But... As I only have one motor, I didn't want to go that far. So it only took me a little while to make this tool up. It actually works pretty good. So the first thing, I've got it bolted down on my table pretty good. I don't want it to move around too much. But uh, that's the other problem with these things. Uh, the small motors fit in your uh, vise, no problem. But this guy is a different story. So... Just like that, ejects itself even. So you can see these windings are, like I say, they're extremely well, uh, well done. And as such, they don't want to come out of there. No problem. Do one more. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's out, but the odd time uh, the tool binds up on this uh, this piece of junk in there, but comes out very easily. Just got to push it from the other side a bit with a punch. Let's do one more. That's so much fun. Look. 
So as long as that piece uh, comes out and doesn't jam up the tool. So there, that's about a pound of copper there already. One more. really in there. Voila. So that's easily a pound right there. So, like I say, as you can see, it doesn't take very much time to work your way around. Costs nothing to make that. Uh, obviously, if you had a hundred of these to do, some kind of a hydraulic setup would be the way to go. But when you've just got the odd one coming in now and then, this works just fine. Okay, good seeing you all. Talk to you later. Bye now.